26th of May, 1942, the Germans and Italians launched Operation Venice, designed to push back the British 8th Army and re-isolate and recapture Tobruk. Ten days into the battle, the 5th of June, with most of the action raging around the infamous cauldron south of Gazala, the 1st South African Infantry Brigade staged an attack on the German supply lines at Alohamza, with the Italian troops safeguarding them. Among those taking part were the men of the 1st Royal Natal Carbineers. One of their platoons mounted an attack on an Italian strongpoint that took heavy fire, and the platoon commander, Lieutenant Douglas, fell wounded. At this point, 25-year-old Sergeant Quentin Smythe, although himself wounded in the head, took command of the platoon and led them in the attack. The strong point was captured. The platoon's troubles continued as they were fired upon by an Italian machine gun nest. Sergeant Smythe moved forward himself, destroying the position with grenades and capturing the surviving crew. The platoon continued its advance, but was met by an Italian anti-tank gun. Though badly affected by his wounds at this point, Sergeant Smythe moved on this position as well, once again destroying it and capturing the crew. Eventually, he was ordered to withdraw his platoon, and in spite of an attempt by the Italians to surround his position, he managed to get them out successfully. Already a veteran of the desert fighting in 1941, Sergeant Smythe avoided capture when Tobruk fell two weeks later by hitchhiking his way east to the new Allied lines. He received his VC in September. The next year, he took his commission and returned to South Africa, where he spent the rest of the war. Once the war was over, he went back to farming, being married three times and having four children before his death in 1997.